Wait a clap. Two of Wands and Nine of Swords. So this could be um this could be overall past, present, or near future energy. This could be you going through this, someone that you're attached to, someone that you detach from, or someone that wants to come towards you. Different people they detach from, different people that they are attached to. This is overall masculine and feminine energy, so you have to take where it resonates and leave what does not. But um this Queen of Cups, um, this could be you. Nine of Swords in here. Somebody, nine of swords is here. This could be somebody that's stressing out. Somebody could be getting exposed. Somebody could have spread a whole bunch of gossip and slander and lies and rumors about you that was not true to try to have you at a two of one stalemate, not knowing which way to go. And they thought that they would, you know, possibly get away with it because um, you're someone that's a queen of cups, someone that's very loving, caring, very giving, kind hearted. And um, they took that as, you know, you were sweet. It was not you were naive. And they will get away with it. Um, they also did not know that you were someone that's very intuitive. So it's like whatever gossip or slander or lies that they were trying to, you know, spread about you. It didn't stick to you because you're in this Queen of Cups energy. You also love yourself. And um, that person could be sitting back at a stalemate, you know, not knowing which way to go, not knowing which direction to take after wanting you to be in this energy. They could be having some sleepless nights. They could be in fear. They could be sitting back getting exposed and they don't know um, for whatever they lied on you about. Yeah, you're a healer. The star card is here. You're someone that's healed. You're someone that's a spiritual teacher. So it's like um, you've healed and balanced out whatever has took place throughout your life. And um, that's why this didn't work and it has this person in their head stressed out. They don't know which direction to take. This person need to realize that they wasted their time. And um, not only did they waste their time, but they needed to go through this because this is a lesson that they needed to learn. This person needed to heal. This person needed to focus on their self and stop putting their mouth on people in a negative way. Ace of Wands is here. This Ace of Wands talks about having a new beginning, taking action towards something. Um, it could be, be it could be intimacy. Someone wants to be intimate with you, but um, somebody could be stressed out because of that. You know, you're having a new beginning. You know, people want to take action towards you or you're just taking action towards whatever it is that you want out of life. Focusing on yourself. Two of Pentacles is here. Ace of Cups. So, yeah, it's like this person is going back and forth about new love coming in, new beginnings for you. And they're still, you know, worried about stuff that they shouldn't even be worried about because they're focusing on you and not focusing on their self. And it's someone that's very toxic. They're binding and blinded to a lot of bad um, karmic debt. So that's why they couldn't take their focus off of you because this person don't realize they're sitting in karma. And they're keeping their self stuck attached to this devil energy. That's it. And they're watching you heal. Balance out. Different stuff that, you know, they thought that they were going to take you through. Thought that you were naive and you wouldn't know. Page of Cups is here. This could be an apology. Someone wants to send you some type of message or apologize to you about something. Page of Cups. This could have been somebody that was acting very immature. And um, they didn't know how to express themselves properly. So they were in this childlike energy. And um, they want to apologize for something. The Hermit card is here. This person could want to apologize if they ghosted you or they just went in hermit mode. They could have just disappeared and you didn't know what happened or something like that. You could have been in hermit mode. Yeah, seven of swords is here. 
this was somebody that was being very sneaky. They were um doing something they thought they were going to get away with and they just, you know, did something quick. Thought that they were smarter than you or something like that. Yeah, this person was, you know, being very sneaky. The will of fortune is here. This will it's like you knew. <laughs> this is something that you knew would happen before it happened. And um you're as I say, you're someone that's very intuitive. So you could be walking in your divine path, your divine calling. And um this person is going through karma. Because it's like whatever you as you're walking in this energy, the will is turning in your favor. And issuing out karma to different people that are at the seven of swords being very sneaky and deceptive. And that's why this person is stressed out. They don't know which direction to take. Two of swords is here. And then a temperance is here. They could have been blinded to the fact that you were someone that was very patient. You were someone that was very um, temperance, balanced. So whatever they tried to do, they could have wanted you to um, be stressed out. You know, wanted you to be in your head about something. They could have stole something from you and just disappeared. And you already knew that that was going to take place. So it's like you were in this temperance energy. <laughs> you already knew like stuff before it happened. And this person, you know, thought that you would be blinded from the truth or something like that. This person was blinded from the truth. Yeah, five of cups in the reverse. You weren't crying over spilled milk. You weren't someone that was in regret. It's like you already knew this was going to take place. You already knew this person would be issued out karma. And you would be, get, you know, given good karma, balance. You knew that everything would be balanced out. That person was at the two of swords blinded from the truth. They didn't know. Yeah, everything backfired. Seven of wands is here. Whatever they did, if they thought this this was going to cause a blockage for you, it did not. Yeah, you're someone that's a boss. You're an empress. And that was hidden. The high priestess is here. It's like you're also someone that's very divine. You're also someone that's very gifted and talented. Very abundant. You're someone that's very blessed. As you embody all queens in the deck, in an upright position. This person just, you know, they're blocked off from your energy. Yeah, this person is blocked off from your energy. And then three of pentacles is here. They could have did this because they were collaborating with somebody. They could have wanted to impress that person or they wanted to prove something to that person or something like that. Three of pentacles is here. Yeah, this is somebody that was jealous and envious and wanted to sabotage um, you. They were jealous, envious, and they were a hater. And this is the type of person that they were clicked up with behind the scenes, like collaborating with, building with, or working with, something like that. That person could have ended up betraying them Ten of Swords is here. And they were at the Two of Swords blinded from the truth if they, you know, did something to try to betray you. It just went back. Seven of Wands is here. You're divinely protected. Whatever you do come back on you. This person didn't know. Yeah, Seven of Cups is here. This person could have thought that you would have been confused at the Seven of Cups, trying to figure this out, figure that out. It did not work. You're in this Empress energy. You're in this Temperance energy. Yeah, King of Wands is here. And six of swords. So yeah. This um whoever they were collaborating with was somebody that they wanted to distance themselves from you. This okay, someone that came in, whoever the sneaky and deceptive person was that ghosted you, they were collaborating with someone that was blind and in front of truth, and they were jealous and envious of you and this person collaborating together. Or working together or something like that. So they did something to try to confuse that person so they could distance themselves from you. And it all backfired. That person ended up getting betrayed by that person that, you know, confused them. Seven of Cups. They played some type of illusion around you and that person is what they tried to. 
Um, they couldn't place it around you because you're someone that's very intuitive. You're someone that, you know, you already knew. So you kept, you know, kept yourself grounded, kept yourself balanced, and you knew that this would backfire. Yeah, the chariot is here. You just move forward. You move forward after gaining truth and clarity. It's like you already knew. I keep getting, you already knew what was going to happen. You're this high priestess. As these people were playing in your energy, they did not know that they would be exposed. They didn't know that anything would backfire onto them. Um, they will feel at the five of pentacles left out in the cold and lost because you're someone that's very kind so it's like whatever they did to you it backfired onto them whatever you did for that person you've manifested that tenfold in a positive way or whatever they stole yeah five of wands is here this is somebody that was secretly like at the five of wands with that person, secretly trying to one up you, secretly trying to one up that person and cause confusion. They could have confused that person, but they couldn't confuse you. You had an already moved forward on the chariot. You were already gone. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles is here. You started focusing on your finances. You only leveled up. Nine of Cups is here. And then the food card is here. They could have knew that this person wanted to come towards you because they were looking at you as wish fulfillment and they wanted to take a leap of faith towards a whole nother direction. But it's like, this is you in this nine of cups energy. You're happy. You're on the food card. You went towards a whole nother direction. You got on that chariot and moved forward. You started focusing on yourself, focusing on your finances, focusing on your health, focusing on your stability. Yeah, and if you have businesses, you are focusing on that. Yeah, Eight of Swords is here. These are people that, you know, as they were at the Seven of Swords, they ended up getting stuck. They ended up getting caught, Eight of Swords. And they feel stuck. It's like they're stuck on whatever they did to you because you were this Queen of Cups. You were in this Queen of Cups energy. So they feel stuck. It could be going through some type of financial lack with this five of pentacles being here. If they stole something from you or tried to take something from you and thought they were going to get away with it, it was sweet. You were by yourself or you were naive, something like that. And it backfired. Seven of Wands is here. You're divinely protected. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles in a reverse. They could not slow you down. They could not distract you. They thought that this would slow you down or something like that. Slow down your finances. Slow down you, uh, any responsibilities that you have for yourself so you couldn't take care of yourself. It didn't work. They didn't know you were someone that's an empress. You sit back and attract whatever it is that you want out of life. And these are people that were confused when a lot of stuff had them backfired. Seven of Cups, Seven of Wands. They were confused. It was hidden to them. High Priestess is here, but not to you. Page of Swords is here. These are people that could have been sitting back watching you, spying you, observing you, watching your every move to try to see if it affected you. But it didn't work. Seven of Pentacles is here. These are people that have been watching your investments come in and not their own. Ten of Pentacles is here. Yeah, you're in this Ten of Pentacles energy. It's like you've only gained whatever... Whatever they tried to do to you or whatever they had stole or tried to take from you, you gained that back tenfold. Ten of Pentacles. You hadn't already invested in yourself. You had a moon card in the reverse. This is something that, you know, they could not hide from you. They possibly didn't even know that you knew what will take place before it happened. Yeah, they did not know that you were someone that was intuitive as well. Yeah, Four of Swords is here. Situation had not already been laid to rest before any of it took place. And these are people that were at the Seven of Cups. They were confused. Placing illusions and confusions around their self and not you. Three of Cups is here.
and King of Swords. This could have been somebody that thought they were smarter than you, this King of Swords energy. And um, this is who the Seven of Swords energy is. This could have been a friend. This could have been somebody that was close to that person. And um, they figured that you would be in isolation. You would be scared or something like that. Did not work. Two of Cups is here. And Four of Cups. Yeah, they knew that this person wanted to partner up with you. Or they possibly just knew that you and this person were supposed to partner up. And they wanted this person to feel insecure or wanted you to feel insecure, wanted you to feel like this person rejected you. This person had rejected their self as they hadn't got blinded from the truth by whoever that they were at the Three of Pentacles um, collaborating with. And that's why this person is feeling left out in the cold in there and this King of Swords energy. This is a person that wanted this energy to cut you off or you to cut this person off or something like that. You hadn't already sailed away and um, you hadn't already got on the chariot and moved forward. Yeah. This is somebody that was obsessed with trying to isolate you or wanted you to feel isolated and alone. Or they could have thought you felt isolated and alone. I'm getting you're the type of person that's, you know, you be by yourself a lot. So it's like, that's just how it is. That's how it's always been. These are people that were naive and they didn't know you. These are people that were placing confusions around their self. And they didn't know. Queen of Swords is here. Yeah, they were playing some type of game behind the scenes with that person. You already knew this, but that person did not know. So it's like you were already in this Queen of Swords energy. Yeah, I'm hearing cut off game strong. Knight of Wands is here. This is somebody that thought they were going to come in quick and have sex with you. Yeah, as you see how small that wand is. And then you see this person with this sword, how thick this sword is. This person did not know who you were. This was someone that possibly was, um, this is this third party. Whoever this Three of Cups energy is, this is this Knight of Wands energy. And they're also someone that's a Knight of Swords energy. Yeah, this is someone that's a Knight of Swords energy. And they thought they did something quick. And they had got away with it. But it just made that person look bad. And um, you already knew that, though. They didn't know. Yeah, this person feels stuck. Bonded, blinded, and tied up in a hangman position. This person ended up getting stuck in some type of situation, and that's when they gained truth and clarity with this ace of swords and then eight of, um, the hangman. I was getting ready to say eight of swords. <laughs> but yeah, this that as that popped out, that person was feeling stuck. They were they were stuck in their head and feeling stuck in, in some type of situation when they gained truth and clarity. So they ended up getting tied up in some type of situation. And that's when they gained truth and clarity. That person that they were collaborating with was somebody that was just confusing their energy. Yeah. Now they're stressed out. This is this person that's at this nine of swords. Whoever this person is that did what they did to try to please this uh, knight of wands energy. They ended up getting stuck after gaining truth and clarity. Yeah, they ended up getting tied up in something. And they didn't know it was because they were at the Seven of Swords with you. Yeah, King of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This was somebody that had emotions for you. And it's like they gained truth and clarity after they ended up getting stuck in this position. So they knew that this person was someone that was a seven of swords energy. They didn't expect to get caught up with that person at the eight of swords for whatever they had and did to you. You were only genuine and kind to this person, loving and caring to this person. And um, this person could have been trying to prove, as I was saying, to whoever this third party is, this knight of wands energy. Yeah, because they were hiding some type of emotions for you. Yeah, the tower and then Ace of Pentacles is here. 
This person is going through a tower moment because you're someone that's very abundant. You're someone that, you know, started over after you had moved forward. It's like you moved forward way before this took place. And they were sitting back watching you to try to figure out what would you do if you would act like this or act like that. You're a boss. These are people that made their self look like five of pentacles energy. People that were struggling. People that would do anything to get some quick money. People that are dealing with financial life. They made their self look bad. And that was it. Yeah. And they ended up getting stuck. Ten of Wands is here. These are people that are sitting back at the Ten of Wands feeling way down, pressured, and burdened. A lot of stuff in their face that they couldn't see and a lot of stuff on their back that they can't even weigh. They're running in circles throughout life. These are people that didn't expect to get caught up for whatever they did. Yeah, Three of Swords is here. They're going through depression. They're going through heartache. They're unhappy, heartbroken about whatever they did. And it's weighing them down. The Strength Guard is here. Yeah, your strength weakens this person or these people. They wanted it to affect you, but it only affected them, not you. This made you grow. The strength card is here. You're someone that's very strong. These are people that didn't know. Page of Wands is here. And then Four of Pentacles is here. So somebody have been trying to communicate with you or send you some type of communication or they're, you know, about to try to send some type of communication uh, to you because they want to hold on to you for Pentacles this year. They've been trying to hold on to you, possibly by watching you, different stuff like that. King of Pentacles is here. And then Eight of Wands. justice is here so this king of pentacles could be someone that um is getting ready to come towards you someone that matches your energy queen of pentacles and this is justice you know coming in for you for whatever took place behind the scenes because these are people that have plotted this they schemed this out seven of swords is here but then they ended up getting caught eight of swords yeah the death card is here and page of pentacles is here it's like something something ended up coming to an end. This person started looking at stuff a whole nother way. And um, yeah, they realized they needed to change whatever they did. Yeah, it caused them to whatever they got caught up in, whatever karma that went back to them, whatever backfired. This caused them to um, go through some type of change. The death card is here, some type of transformation. And now they're looking at things a whole nother way. Page of Pentacles is here. It's like somebody, yeah, somebody ended up, so if like they tried to set you up, somebody set that person up and it was like their karma. Three of Wands is here. This person have made a decision, but they don't want people to know. Person could be somebody that don't trust nobody. Or they don't trust people anymore if they haven't set their self up. Yeah, the Sun card is here. It's like they're... A lot of stuff got exposed. A lot of secrets have been revealed. And um, as stuff had to backfire, whatever you do come back on you. And um, now this person is seeing. Yeah, it's like a lot of stuff got illuminated. These people could have been placing some type of illusion around that person so they wouldn't be able to see properly. And that's why this person was at the Seven of Swords and they thought that they would, you know, get away with it. They were in the... It's like these are people that were projecting their energy off onto them. And they were confused. They need to be, they needed to walk away from these individuals because they were only keeping them in a confused mindset. But I'm getting you walked away and you didn't even look back. You could have tested these people or this person and they didn't know. Yeah, Six of Wands is here. It's like after you walked away and did not look back, you came out at the Six of Wands having victory and success. 